Hi, I'm Captain Matt Trantham with the Salvation Army of the Lower Eastern Shore, and it's National Salvation Army Week. And it's also showtime. For over 150 years, the Salvation Army has brought countless forms of aid to millions of people around the world. And this week, you can join the celebration of Salvation Army Week right here in Salisbury. And here to tell us more is Captain Matt Trantham with the Lower Eastern Shore Salvation Army. Thank you, Captain, for spending some time with us this afternoon. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm glad to be here on Delmarva Life again. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk a little bit. Can you just kind of give us a brief history of the Salvation Army here on Delmarva? Sure. So the Salvation Army started in 1865. Uh, we have had a lot of history since then, expanding to over 130 countries around the world and uh, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, the entire way and meeting human need in his name without discrimination. So uh, we've been in Salisbury in the Lower Eastern Shore since 1913 uh, and the National Salvation Army Week started in 1954 when President Dwight Eisenhower declared it after about 75 years of the Salvation Army uh, being in the United States. So what would you say has been the most critical need that you have met here on Delmarva since you've been established here in Salisbury? So um, the Salvation Army of the Lower Eastern Shore has been meeting needs such as uh, clothing and food assistance. We've had uh, emergency assistance in that regard. We've also done a lot of children's programs and senior programs uh, since we've been here. Uh, so trying to meet needs with children, with after school care, uh, with sporting uh, events and sports leagues, uh, that has been the greatest impact. Yeah. Our emergency services has also been uh, crucial to meeting human need, and uh, that's been wonderful as well. Yeah, and as, as, as we, you mentioned, it's National Salvation Army Week. What can we look forward to seeing here in Salisbury during the week? So we've scheduled a few different uh, ways that we're going to celebrate it. We're taking some time with our uh, kids at our youth club this coming Wednesday, um, and we're going to spend some time with them going over the heritage and the history. We had time at our thrift store uh, this past Monday where we're celebrating all week, where you can come out and shop, you can donate. Uh, so we're celebrating there at our family store. And then this coming Friday, uh, we are doing a food drop at our 407 Oak Street location where we're giving away food to folks who need it most. Uh, people can come, I believe, starting around 11 o'clock, and we'll be distributing food until about 12, maybe 1 o'clock, depending on the traffic. Okay, so then uh, here's the question. What, what can we, what can our viewers do to help meet the need? Well, the Salvation Army depends on volunteers and we depend on financial donations. So uh, mailing the Salvation Army, uh, you know, money is helpful, donating to our Red Kettle campaign at Christmas, uh, but also just contributing to our efforts now is helpful. Uh, but more along the lines of volunteers, we do need a lot of help. You know, we celebrate about three hundred, three and a half million volunteers nationwide uh, that the Salvation Army depends on to do the most good. So uh, without those extra hands and without the, the extra money to help put into our, our programs, uh, the Salvation Army has a hard time meeting those needs. So we depend on the local community to come alongside us uh, with, with money and with uh, their time. Yeah, it's not just uh, around Christmas time when right. you hear the bells ringing. Captain Matthew Trantham, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon and thank you for all you do for our community. Oh, you're welcome. We're happy to do it, and we're thankful to partner with Delmarva Life to, uh, to celebrate.